All right, it looks like we have here today the first, I guess, uh, monitor that is dual monitor, uh, dual mode, 4K, 220 hertz, and uh, 1080p, 480 hertz, which is actually insane. Now, this is the first one I've seen. I don't think this is the first one that has been out. Um, I, I don't know currently the price. I got, yeah, hold on. Let me let me take a look at this. Um, let's see what the prices are. Okay, yeah, it looks like the monitor is not out as of yet. Yeah, let me see. Insane value. Yeah, it doesn't look like the monitor is out yet. It looks like he probably got the this monitor um uh, through beta or sponsored and it's not out yet so he's just reviewing it um it's by lg it looks like uh he's gonna talk about it in general um let's take a look at this monitor though because this is some big news because i literally just dropped a video pretty much talking about Optimum. this situation um this guy is a big youtuber he goes by the name of optimum um he does a lot of tech reviews and all the gaming pc stuff and all that related stuff let's take a look let's see what he has to say monitors that were announced this year this has to be the one that i've been most excited for because it's like my two dream monitors packed into one with this little switch right here it can transform from 4k 240 hertz to 1080p okay. 480 hertz and look okay. for the past like five years i've been switching between two monitors at my setup usually it's a 4k monitor for editing and then what now i like i like the aspect of switching the monitors um as you can see do more activate activated um literally throughout through a button you just press the button you turn to 1080p 240 or 480 hertz for 4k 240 hertz boom now i wonder what the uh refresh rate is as far as uh millisecond time latency the lag all that stuff I'm, i wonder how that is actually going to be now for me i do run on a 4k 240 hertz monitor one millisecond response time which is absolutely insane um i love this monitor to death man um i'm starting to not really realize what 4k really is anymore because I've, I've just seen it so much now but i love it i love it to death man and i would never trade it back in because i love 4k 4k is insane for gaming um you actually have to have a beast gpu to be going the direction of 4k but that's for another day hertz. and look for the past like five years i've been switching between two monitors at my setup usually it's a 4k monitor for editing and then whatever the fastest esports display is at the moment for those competitive style games i really don't want to compromise on either of those things so i kind of just deal with always swapping them out i do have a quick release monitor mount which does make that process a bit easier but this i mean it doesn't really wow. get better than what, this it is just what, a single what quick release monitor mount a quick games. release I really monitor don't want to compromise on either of those things so wow. i kind of just deal with always swapping them out i do have a quick release monitor mount which does make that process a bit easier it's my first time this, seeing it i mean it doesn't really get better awesome. than this it is just a single button so this this is the 32GS 95UE from LG. It's a new 4K OLED 32 inch. 32 inches is good. Um, I think I run about 34, 32 inches for my monitor. Um, it is also a curved display for my monitor as well. Um, I love it. Gaming monitor, which is coming out next month. And it is the first time we've seen anything like this where you can switch between two completely different modes. We've seen some monitors in the past where you can crop in and get a smaller viewing Ooh. distance, which is more comfortable for esports gaming, but okay. nothing where you can swap to a completely different resolution and actually get a boost in refresh rate as well. And let me just say, going from 240 hertz to 480 hertz, that is an extremely worthwhile jump. I know a lot of people like yeah. to meme on 500 hertz gaming, saying it's a waste of refresh rate and you're not going to become a CSGO pro just from a monitor. No one's saying that 500 hertz is going to make you a professional esports gamer, but if you are playing games that can run at those sort of frames, I say, why not? You see much yeah, smoother I'm animation. Not. It is easy to keep up with in those fast paced games. Now, when you switch into the 480 hertz mode, you actually have okay. three different options. You can do 1080p across 32 inches, or mm. you can downsize that to 27 inch or 24 inch for a more typical competitive oh, size. Oh, you can but downscale like really... that. That is actually unreal. As you can see, the dual mode has uh, three different modes, it looks like. Full wide, which is it can support up to uh, 1080p, 40 hertz. Um, and you can go 27 inch and 24 inch. Um, that's pretty cool. So it's dual mode. So the stock is basically... 4k first it's 4k 240 hertz and then you can go in a dual mode for 1080p 480 hertz interesting Smart. stretching 1080p across 32 inches will give you the worst pixel density and it has HDR, options, but it will give you the best pixel the readout four pixels at 4k convert perfectly into one at 1080p so to be honest it actually doesn't look half bad on this panel sparing the low pixel yeah, density which you can mostly 4K. overcome by pushing the monster further back than usual you can or still see aliasing 4K. on enemy hitboxes and those nice sharp edges but yeah. you lose that sharpness on the 27 inch no, and 24 inch 4K. modes when you use those cropped modes they unfortunately look pretty blurry 1080p it's upscaled 1080p i meant to say so you're running on a 4k display but you're upscaling 1080p to it if you want to go 1080p, which looks better than actual 1080p, so to say, if that makes sense for anybody. He is now trying to conform to an odd resolution. I really try to love those modes because the 480Hz OLED motion looks just really insane with those smaller frames, but everything just looks kind of mushy and out of focus. Speaking of 480Hz OLED, it is as insane as you would expect. I measured zero millisecond pixel response times here, as you would expect from a top tier OLED, Ooh. with virtually zero overshoot as well. I also found no differences in response times or display okay. latency, switching between any of the modes, which Last is really nice to see. To really as for good. what that looks like in terms of motion blur in game, basically the only thing that can beat this would be one of the new 540Hz TN monitors with backlight strobing switched on. I'd actually say without backlight strobing, this 480Hz OLED 
is a touch better. The motion clarity here is incredible. You know, it's the best that I've seen without any strobing added in. And on top of that responsiveness, this is an OLED. So you don't have to worry about any ghosting or artifacting. Switching yeah, from the 4K OLED 240Hz to 1080p 480Hz, it's 100% I'm dying to know the price this of this is very thing, good for an OLED. Dude. This one tops out at just above 260 nits with a completely white screen. You can boost nits. that artificially by using the non-uniform brightness mode, enough. which on this monitor named peak bright. 260 nits, that's it. <laughs> That's not enough, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. Basically, the panel will, you know, try and be tricky and spread the brightness around to give you the overall brightest image. I found this fine for desktop browsers. You know, just a touch oversaturated in some areas. Colors. The colors for gaming are absolutely next level. In terms of the coding, it is like an anti glare matte coding, which I think I prefer Hell over divers. the glossy coatings for these OLED. Text clarity on this monitor is also extremely good. LG are using a new subpixel array for this new panel. And yeah, looking yeah. at fine text in Windows, looks like look 180 okay. hertz mode because that's kind of the big feature here. The fact that it can switch to that is just insane. But primarily, this is a top tier 4K 240 hertz monitor. I would yeah. say it's even slightly better than the very similar ASUS 32 inch that I tested recently because of the W OLED panel, which I feel is a little bit superior to the QD OLED on the ASUS. Now, I don't have the uh, ASUS 4K. 240 hertz i have the samsung g8 which is the uh 4k 240 hertz for samsung and it is badass brother the 4k oh, yeah. 240 hertz gaming experience at 32 inches is absolutely phenomenal like you could literally buy this monitor and just oh, use it for 4K. Good. that would be totally fine for me though it is all about the 480 hertz mode on this oled because that's the style of games i mostly find myself playing if that mode was good then this monitor can be my one and only monitor on my desk could that 480 hertz mode possibly be comparable to the 540 hertz tn that i've been using for competitive ease probably would and that's it responsiveness and the lifelike animations which i keep describing about these 540 hertz panels okay. i don't have to unplug or swap anything i don't have to mess around with my setup or restart my pc to make sure nvidia shadow play is working it's literally all in this single Switch. 1400 bucks is what this monitor is going to be on Woo! sale for around mid April. It's which, you know, is very expensive for a single monitor. And if you're only interested in one of the things that this monitor can do, whether it it's is. The now, I wish I would have knew. I mean, a year ago, I bought the monitor that I have today, which is the Samsung G8, for about 15, 1400 bucks as well. Now, this one only has 4K 240 hertz. This one that we're looking on screen is 4K 240 hertz plus a dual mode of 1080p 480 hertz, which is actually insane. Now, I would have obviously bought that over the Samsung G8 just because it can do both things. Like literally you have two monitors in one. You can make some creative content as far as, you know, video wise for YouTube or, you know, video editing, whatever, whatever. And then you can game on it or you could do both. It, it, it doesn't matter what you're doing. It's, this, this, this monitor is a beast. Should you buy it? Uh, yeah, if you're in the market for a monitor and you want it and you want to get the monitor and never upgrade a monitor ever again, there you go. That's pretty much it for this video. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. Um, Good monitor. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hit that subscribe button, like, all that, man. I'm out of here. And that being said, that's it for this video. Let's get it. YouTube 2021. Thank <laughs> you.